Right guys, Mark Crossfield here with National Club Golfer lowering your scores. We have got the dreaded 40 to 50 yard bunker shot. Who doesn't hate this shot? Even the tour pros find this one hard. I'm gonna show you a technique to try and help you maybe get the ball closer and even close to the hole from one of the most awkward shots in golf. Let's get stuck in. So it's a 40 to 50 yard bunker shot. There's actually a bit of a tear just short of the flag here, but that isn't gonna change my approach. My expectations from this position have been lowered. And I think that's a key point you've got to remember. This is a tough shot. If you're trying to get this stiff, then you are feeling really good about yourself. For me, I want it anywhere within 10 foot would be good, 20 foot. I just want to avoid the dust just out in front of me. So what I'm gonna to do to do that is I'm gonna use my nine iron. I am not using my sand wedge, I'm not using my pitch wedge even, I've come down to a nine iron. And I'm gonna play this shot exactly the same way I would as if it was a splash bunker shot uh, with the pin just say 10 yards in front of me. So subject to how you play your bunker shots, I'm very much a kind of uh, feet aiming left of target. So if I'm going at this target here, my feet are aiming left, that makes the ball, if I draw a parallel, uh, a right angle line to my ball to target line back towards my feet, puts the ball position on my left heel. I'm gonna have my weight 60, 70% on my left foot. Use the bunker technique that you're already happy with. Don't get too bogged down in the bunker technique. If you want that, watch bunker videos. This is more that you're using your nine iron and applying that bunker technique, which hopefully you've already got working for you. So I'm gonna twist the face to point the loft or point the leading edge off to the right. I'm then gonna lower the handle to make the loft point at the hole. I'm swinging on the line of my feet to the left, which are pointing left of the target. I'm taking the sand a good inch behind. Like I said, I'm using all my bunker techniques and I'm gonna make 70% swing on this one. This is a good distance for this club. Let's see if I can pull it off. Keep going. Look at that run on. So I caught that slightly heavy, but that's still got within 20 foot. And if I made my contact a little better, I would have got that up to pin eye. If I did that shot with a sand wedge, it literally would have gone just over these wispies here, complete duff. So the nine iron, what I'm doing is I'm taking into an account, this is a tough shot, I'm taking my punishment. I'm lowering my expectations on what happens that end. I'm not looking to get in this one particularly tight to the hole, but I'm kind of raising my buffer of bad shots. Even with a little slightly duff strike, with that loft and the way that club cut through the sand, and the way that ball comes out low and runs forward, I'm still got a putt there to save my par. 50 yard bunker shot, nine iron, play it like a splash shot like you normally play your bunker shots. It's a great way of making these shots much easier, wrong word to use, because there's nothing easy about this shot, but much easier than people think they are. Let me know, post comments down below. Have you ever played it this way? Have you ever heard about playing it this way? Uh, I've played with people who try and catch the ball clean on this distance, that's so dangerous. I mean, I've, there's some great players who can do it as well. I'm not saying don't do that, but when you're your average amateur looking to lower your scores, 9-iron is the safer option. Now let's pretend it was a little further. Let's say it was 60 yards. You could even go to a 7-iron. I've done this with a 6-iron in tournament play before. So you can change the loft subject to what distance you want to make it. Get in the bunker, have fun with it. Let me know, post comments down below as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.